Pieter Sellers regisseerde Desdemona, een voorstelling over de vrouw van Othello. Bij Shakespeare komt ze noodlottig aan haar einde. Nobelprijswinner Toni Morrison schreef dit keer de teksten. En de Malinese wereldster Rokia Traoré speelt de voedster van Desdemona. De zwarte vrouw die Desdemona grootbracht en die betoverende liedjes voor haar zong. Mag ik een applaus voor Rokia Traoré? Okay, yeah, welcome. It's an honor to have you here. Um, you've translated Toni Morrison's Othello into music. What was inspiring about her script? It wasn't such a difficult work because uh, Toni is uh, thinking about the original Othello uh, was so inspiring for me when we discussed and she explained me what she wanted to do. I started composing even before she uh, started writing her own script. And um, yes, it's... Um, simply a, a, a kind of yes an honor for me and also a, a project uh, which is really instructive uh, in terms of music but also a theatrical experience and what about Desdemona inspired you as a musician I think as a woman, firstly, the, the whole project, uh, Tony Morrison's work, Peter Seller's connections and uh, staging and the fact of being on stage with uh, these young Malian women and Malian musicians, myself and Tina Benko, all the rest of the team, I mean technical uh, part of the team, uh, stage managers and technicians, is simply uh, uh, showing um, what women's emancipation uh, could look like inside a uh, human's right and um, what it must look like uh, at the 21st century. Because you've said in an interview with Peter Sellers, the director, that this play was more to you than just a music or a theatre play, that it had a symbolic meaning. It does, uh, because as I said, uh, it's unbelievable imagining a project with uh, Malian young women who uh, didn't hear about Othello previously, but just being themselves on stage and nobody trying to do things in a way uh, uh, which Europeans will, uh, will understand, but just being uh, everybody being uh, himself, but also sharing something with the others who are from different cultures, like Tina Benko, uh, who never has been in, in uh, Africa. Africa before, and uh, uh, we all have a project in common, which is there's the mana. And you mean that the African singers you brought with you from Mali, that they are uh, allowed to be totally African in their performance in the West? We all are allowed to be who we are. Africans, exactly. uh, yes, but modern African women, and uh, uh, who has another idea of uh, women's emancipation, which is not exactly the uh, what the way uh, European women think it. It's different for African women, you say? I think, because, yes, Why? Africa, it's not the same culture, and how to be a woman is not the same in Africa and here. And in what respect is emancipation for African women then different than it is for, like, say, a Dutch woman? I think for them, uh, do, the, doing things more discreetly is very important, but having this very strong and uh, discreet uh, uh, um, uh, role inside the society every day, if they decide to stop working, everything will stop, but they don't show that every day. And this is the, 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 what we um, uh, are told by our mothers uh, when we are young how to be a woman means how to be uh, uh, able uh, to work with discretion and in uh, uh, pow concerning power and control you have on men uh, in the reality. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I wish we had more time to talk about that, but you're going to play for us. So what is it you're going to play? Before. Before. Okay, the stage is yours. Mag ik een groot applaus voor Rokia Traoré.
kono mere jugo babano kelena mere jugo babano nenyana ami jugo babano kamana gwa ami jugo babano akela nyana kofuru kunye jigede ye Sherry, Sherry. 